Hi, I'm Trish, and this is Beanbag Hagwag. Um, today I'm doing a tag uh, video. So this tag is called Season of the Witch, and it was started by the Woodland Hag. I will leave a link for her um, channel and this tag in the description box. Mags is a beautiful, beautiful person. Um, she's insightful and she has so much to offer. The questions are, number one, in what way do you choose to identify and why? Uh, I identify as a pagan witch. Um, just because it changes, my path changes so much. Um, but two things don't change. I am pagan and I am a witch. Um, so that's, that's that. Uh, let's see, number two, what does my daily practice look like? Um, my daily practice, I just did a video actually on my daily practice. Um, I spend time at my altar every day. It could be five minutes. It could be, you know, 15 minutes. It could be an hour. I just make sure to um, spend time to show gratitude um, and to honor deity. Every day I make time for that. I feel like it's really important. Um, number three, what do I do for self-care? Um, I do a lot of things for self-care. Self-care and self-love are a really big thing for me. Uh, it, it can be as simple as um, a bath in some special salts. It could be doing my nails. It could be going for a walk. Um, it could be spending time with friends. Um, anything that makes me feel good and... Um, I'm good at self-care. Number four, what do I do to take care of nature, wildlife, the environment, or animals? I believe in rescuing animals rather than um, buying from a pet shop. I try to keep my surroundings clean. I try not to um, overuse water. I try not to overuse heat, um, energy. I try to reuse, reduce, and recycle whenever possible. Um, and I think I could do more. I think we could all do better, but, um, but I do what I can right now. Uh, there's all there's always room for improvement and and that's important to me it's an important um, it's important to me not to leave such a huge footprint um, I've got some mighty big feet um, how do I help heal or support humans or humanity um, well I work in healthcare, so in some sense, I am a healer. Um, I try to offer support to those who need it. Um, I try to give some blessings that I have to people who don't have um, who don't have enough. Um, what is my understanding of a higher power? <laughs> That's such a, that is a personal question, isn't it? F to me, higher power is whatever I want it to be. Uh, I have several deities that I work with. Um, I believe that... The deities I follow are different aspects of source, whether it's masculine, feminine. It's all one. It's all encompassing. 
and um, whether I conjure this image or this um, this energy or this being in my head or whether it's truly a separate being um, I'm not sure but I treat it as it is. I treat deity as if they are, um, as if they are a separate living being, um, you know, with, with a face and a name and, um, and a personality, um, Sometimes when deity speaks to me, I have no choice but to think this is a real entity. Um, but we all have our own idea of what source or higher power is. And we are all right. I don't see any reason why we can't all be right about that. Um... <clears throat> Number seven, what is the most important lesson I have learned so far? That I am responsible for my own happiness. I am responsible for everything I want. Um, I, I'm responsible for my own happiness, plain and simple. Um, and how does this learned lesson affect my values and attitudes? It affects my values and attitudes in a way that I want others to realize that if they want to be happy, happiness is there for the taking. Um, you just have to want it and um and and do whatever it takes to bring happiness into your life um we're all meant to be happy and and my message is always to strive to be happy because it's so important we are here for this short time and and i see people who are just so miserable and just like we're responsible for our own happiness, you're responsible for your misery as well. You need to take that misery and turn it around. Turn that frown upside down, as the saying goes. Um, what is my most spooky experience? Um, I'd have to say some of the experiences at work have been spooky. Um, when you're dealing with death and dead bodies, that can be spooky. Um, I know as morbid as it sounds, you never get used to taking care of a dead body. You never get used to cleaning it up. You never get used to, you never get used to it. Um, I'm always expecting them to at me. Um, I don't like it. I don't like taking care of dead people. It, it freaks me out and I find it spooky. Would or have I ever cursed or hexed anyone? Um, not knowingly, yeah, probably before I practiced witchcraft, you could call um, some actions cursing and hexing before I knew that um, just said words could be a curse or a hex. I don't curse or hex. Um, I try to... 
I will do banishing or binding, um, but I don't want to bring harm to anybody. Um, if somebody's in my way, there's other ways to get them out of my way than, um, than cursing and hexing, um, ways that won't harm them. And that's important to me because um, I still kind of go by the, the golden rule of do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Um, if I could live anywhere, where would it be? Simple. Minnesota, where I live. Um, the only difference is I would not live in the big city. I live in St. Paul. I would live up north where it's a little colder, but it's so beautiful. Um, I would I would live on a lake. We have 10,000 of them, you know. Um, I would live on a lake up north. Yeah. Uh, so that is the 11 questions um, that Mags started. So take part. It's fun. Strive to be happy.